Have you ever noticed how worry comes at a bad time? It comes at a time of crisis, just when you need a clear mind and steady nerves to make a great decision. Worry is trust in the unpleasant. Worry is assurance that disaster is coming. Worry is believing in your personal defeat and despair. Worry is a polluted stream that flows through your brain, that drowns hope and optimism, that kills faith. Worry is interest paid on trouble that never happens. Proves that you don't believe God can take care of you. Worry is faith in fear. Worry is faith in fear. Worry paralyzes the man so that it can't produce a better idea to solve a new problem. It robs your body of rest at night. It sends you to work shattered, shaky, second rate. Fear not the present. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Joshua 1 and 9. Be not afraid for thy God is with you wherever you go. David says, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for thou art with me. Remember that death is now just a shadow. The shadow of a lion cannot bite you. The shadow of a serpent cannot hurt you. The shadow of a sword cannot cut you. Death has been reduced to a shadow. The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? Psalms 27 and 1. Hebrews 13, 6, the Lord is my helper. I will not fear what man can do with me. Every believer in this room and watching television has the Bible right to believe that you have at least two angels guarding you day and night. He will give his angels, plural, charge over you. The Bible says, I will make your enemies to be at peace with you. Blessed is the man, David said, that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Whatsoever he does shall prosper. He is Jehovah Shammah. He is the Lord who is there. He is the Lord your healer. He is the Lord your defender. He is your rock. He is your fortress. He is your high tower. He's the one who calls and says, I will answer in the time of need. His angels go before you to make a way for you. They are your rear guard. He guides and he provides. He leads in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil because the God of heaven is with me. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Joshua 1 and 9. Be not afraid for thy God is with you wherever you go. David said, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for thou art with me. Remember that death is now just a shadow. Jesus said, do not worry, take no thought, let not your hearts be troubled. Almighty God has said, I am God and you cannot fail. I am God who will never forsake you. I am from everlasting to everlasting. Are you stressed and depressed? Is your life constantly difficult with unending disappointments? Have you given up hope and embraced anger and anxiety? Hear the words of the text, be anxious for nothing. Say that with me, be anxious for nothing. Daniel's prayer in Daniel 9, 20 and 23 proves that God is in total control of your life. He holds the seven seas in the palm of his hand. He measures space with his fingertips. He weighs the mountains in a scale and the hills in a balance. The God that we serve has total control. You think heaven cannot respond fast to what you're asking? You think God cannot protect you guide you instantly? You think God is far away and he can't reach you? God is just waiting for you to open your mouth. The Bible said that I will answer your prayer even before you pray it. We serve a God who has never failed. I will drown Pharaoh at your feet. You will climb the impossible mountain, make a way where there seems to be no way. I'll give you the ability to defeat the impossible foe.
1,000 shall fall at your left hand. 10,000 shall fall at your right hand. David said, I will fear no evil. Why? Because God Almighty is with me. I read the story of an aviator. When he heard a noise on his plane that he recognized as a, that of a gnawing rat, not knowing which delicate indicators could be sabotaged by his sharp teeth of the rat, he began to worry. He remembered that the rat is a rodent. It's not made for the heights. It's made to live in the dark holes of the ground. So he nosed his plane higher and higher and higher and higher until the gnawing stopped. Two hours later, when he landed safely, a dead rat fell out of the cockpit onto the floor. Worry is a rat. It cannot live in the secret place of the Most High. It cannot breathe in the atmosphere of faith. It cannot breathe where there is abiding confidence in the God that controls everything. If your life's course has been altered by crisis, if you're living with stress and worry, climb, climb, climb into the presence of the living God. Feel his peace, feel his reassuring touch, feel the love of God. Worry will disappear and victory will be yours. He will make a way where there seems to be no way. Stop worrying and start living. Stop worrying and start living. We serve a God who has never failed. God can come through in this moment to protect you, to provide for you, to heal your body, to deliver you, how to set you free from the addictions that are destroying you, how to break the chains of misery and habit that have enslaved you, be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. Roll up your sleeve. The great physician is in the house.